Clear up on this last bus. I lack the needed manner. The angel enough. That's not me yet. He always got just that. Enter the city. We have no time for this. Take a piece of holy cedar from the shrine and inscribe it with the seal which troubles her. Great. Good. So, what did you write to the Hamilton Dreister? Something about green tattoos, sweat gaps, cloudy eyes. Let's put this. Ah, not while I'm in town. No man sold me this book. He said he didn't believe it anymore, but... Ah, apologies. Uh, hi guys, um, I thought I'd do another uh, Diablo 4 uh, video, um, a how-to video. This time is um, hardcore. Um, I, the reason why I thought I'd do one is because I've, I've seen lots and lots of videos and I've tried following um, the way that they do things and the way that they... Um, get to at least level 50 for the um uh, uh playstation for the trophy and um i thought i would uh, follow some of the, their videos a lot of them turn out to be just total lot of rubbish to be honest if, I, if i'm if i'm being totally honest um they, uh, all, all things like um use this character or use that character or, or you know what i mean um one of one of my best ones were was um, store things in your stash for when you die, which is fine if, if you, you know what I mean. But but the problem with that is if you store a, a dagger fragment, say it's level twenty, you've got to actually get to level twenty before you can use it. And that's to say if you haven't the, the gear you've already picked up isn't better than that. So that was a pointless tip that I did along the way. So anyway, so I, I thought I would do a, a compilation of videos and, and edit them all together of, of how I get from 1 to 50. Um, the quickest way, the safest way, um, and, and, and uh, share it with you guys. Um, the character does not matter. You, you got, if you're going to die, you're going to die. It's, it's how you play the game. Okay, so I've gone with the Sorcerer. Now, 
I do believe that no matter what character you get, you're gonna die. If if, if you're gonna die, you're gonna die. But what you do is you want you what you really want is you want a range character, something that can damage uh, distance. Um, so something like the sorcerer, the necromancer, um, something like that, that that where you're not so close and personal to them. I've tried the barb, um, the barbarian. I've tried the druid. Um, I and, and um, the only one that I've managed to get to a certain level and to get the um, PlayStation trophy is a sorcerer. So that's what I'm using today. I'm going to use a sorcerer. And um, what you want is you want like the the um, arc lightning ball uh, build because um, that means that you can take down a few enemies um, at once. Um, when you start the level, um, it's my advice to do the story mode. Um, you don't need to actually, if you, as long as if you already completed the story on another character, you don't actually do actually have to do the story on missions, but you are playing around in the story mode world, if you like. Okay, so you haven't skipped the story. Not yet, anyway. You don't skip it until you get to level 50. That's how, that's how I've done it. So you start. You, you get your character. You work out what what you want to call it. Um, you you don't you go you don't go for world tier two, because the 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 XP that you get f for being in world tier two per kill is not worth the time it takes for you to kill an enemy in world tier two, if that makes sense. So so you're always better off starting at world tier one, and you want to progress up up the up the tiers when you're comfortable with your build. Okay, so don't be too scared of going to the tree and bringing it back down or putting it up or bringing it back down or whatever whatever you feel you need to do. So you make a character, you call it, you you, you call it whatever you want. Um, you set up your, your, your like I said, you, you, want to, you want it on World Tier 1. Uh, you do want to do the seasonal because you, you do want to skip to the season at the end before the malingan, malingan, malingan heart hearts. Sorry, I'm full of COVID. Um, for the um, caged hearts, um, so you do really want to do that, um, but that's that's for that's for later on in the, in the video. So right now you just want to get as high as possible as quickly as possible. Okay, so the way to do that is so so play the mission, play the prologues, play, play all the all all the, the the things that you have to do to get to this point. So this is the point when you're in um, Kyovashad, Kyovashad. Um, so this is where you need to be, okay? And what you're looking for... Now, I've managed to get up to past level 5, so you need this alchemist to be open, okay? But if you're not quite a level 5 when you get to this point, there's a dungeon, which I will, I will take us there in a second. There's a dungeon right there. Um, so, the, so the XP that you get going there and coming back and, and doing that dungeon, if you're not already at 5+, plus, you should be at 5+. plus and come at that point okay so what i'll do is i'll quickly go go to the dungeon get the dungeon um done and then i'll come back and we'll do we'll get the um alchemist sorted
motivación. Okay, so you've got your character up. Um, you've done whatever you need to do, whatever XP that you needed to get to get the alchemist unlocked. Um, and then you come to the alchemist and you buy. Um, it's normally the very, very bottom one. I know all these are unlocked because of the levels that I've got to. But it's the very, very bottom one. So it's them ones there. Because it requires level 5. You need to be at least level 5 to craft and use these. So that's why you, you, you need to um, go up there. I mean, I, I managed to get there before I got to this point because I just... I I stick to the rule that I um, search every corner, uh, attack every little thing that I can find, um, take on every battle, every enemy um, for the XP. Um, so once you've got to this point, um, you pick them up and you um, activate them every 30 minutes if you can. I mean, even if you've got to put a little bit of a um, an alarm on your phone or your, your iPad or your watch or whatever, I mean, it, it could work. Or just, or just keep an eye on the clock um, and try and... Um, and keep an eye on the little icon which is in the bottom uh, left hand corner just try and keep an eye on that and when that disappears drink another one and, and, and keep going um, right now what I'll do is I'll put up a map of a route that I take that is steps 1 to 6 um, and um, I do all the activities that are in that area on that route um, two, things that, two things that I do and don't do what I do do is I always um, engage every battle, I search every cellar, um, I take on every enemy that I can for the XP. Um, I don't go crazy, I don't go out of my way, um, I don't go into areas where I know that the, the, the level is too high to my level. Um, I, I don't, I don't want to try and be a hero, this is hardcore, don't forget. Um, you you want to try and get to at least level 50, if that's what you're looking for, for the accommodation for console. Um, so yeah, and what I don't do is I don't use the horse. Um, as you can see, um, I've, I've unlocked it already for, with normal characters. Um, so the horse is already unlocked, uh, but I just don't use it because I think it's a waste of XP. I mean, you, you can if you want. I mean, if you if you want to, if you feel that you might be, get to places a little bit quicker, but I think that the, the for argument's sake, getting from step one to step two, the enemies that I would encounter on foot is worth the XP for the time it would I would save traveling on a horse if that makes sense so that's why i do that so we'll do the steps from one to six and then i'll rejoin on the video then once we've done the um those steps and we move on to the next part Okay, so at this point you're going to be at step 5. Okay, now this is the first dungeon that you come across. Now this is going to be at your own risk and your own choice. Okay, now the dungeon itself is not that hard. It's, it's, it can be easily done, even at a level 10. Um, the problem is, is the butcher. Now the butcher can spawn at any time, at any point, And you are advised, you know, a, lot, even a lot of these videos that I've watched that I found not to be very helpful, like I said at the beginning of the video, a lot of them did advise not to do dungeons at such an early stage. Um, but I do think the XP is worth the risk. Now, the Butcher... A lot of people believe the Butcher can't spawn this early, but it can, because it's killed me. It's killed my hardcore, hardcore character um, in the early days of me trying to do it. Um, so... It is a risk that you take. Um, I, like I said, I do think it's worth the loot and it's worth the XP. It's worth the gold. It's, it's, it's worth all that. Um, the blueprint or, or whatever else you, you get from this dungeon. Um, but just take your time. Um, if you do see the butcher, run away. Get out of there. You know what I mean? Try and um, find your way back to the exit and just get out. And I think after a while of you not beating him he, uh, or fighting him, he disappears anyway. I'm sure that's still a thing. Um, if it is, try that as a tactic as well. Um, but yeah, dungeons are definitely your own risk to so do this one. Um, if you feel you're, you're good enough and strong enough uh, to do it. Um, like I said, because he does spawn. I've only had him spawn once, and I've done this now about maybe 10 times. So he has only spawned once. 
So, um, yeah, so give it a try. See how we go. Okay, so hopefully uh, you've made it to this point. Um, and uh, there's no, been no real worries, no real um, headaches. Um, hopefully the hunter hasn't killed you in that in that dungeon, like I said earlier. Um, but um, yeah, so this, at this point now, what we want to do is you want to make your way to um, Seriga. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's there on the map. And um, at this point, then we go from steps. Um, six through to I think it's twelve or thirteen, something like that. But we end up um, at the top of the map, um, over and around in this area up here. But by following a, a, a route that goes around this area and around the outside, it opens up all these uh, points here as well, uh, and so travel points until we get to this point here. So I'll see you back in the video uh, once I've completed those. So. Okay, so I'm about 70% the way through, 75%, something like that. Um, so I thought I'd do a little um, pre-final video um, just to tell you how, how I got here and, and any little tips that I can give you to uh, keep me going. Um, I did the steps just like what I, I um, posted earlier, so 1 to 5 and then from 6 to 13 um, on the two little maps that I posted earlier. I'll post them again now just in case you missed them. And then what I did then is I did a mixture of side missions, main missions, and strongholds. And the only reason why I did that is because I've died a few times. And what I would suggest you do if you haven't died is the Lilith altars. Okay, because for two reasons. One, it's a good way of getting XP. It's a really, really fast way of getting XP as well. Because you're constantly on the move. Okay. Um, you're killing ads on your way, you're doing those little orange circles, just like, like what we did with the other two maps that I showed you earlier. You're doing the the cellars, um, you're staying away from any real, you know what I mean, danger with bosses and things like that, and, and strongholds. I mean, I only did one stronghold just to see if I could do it and see what the XP was like. They have nerfed it, so that it's not best to do strongholds, but you, you can do them. It's, it's, not, it's, it's, not, it's not off the list, if you like. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll uh, post up some pictures um, now of um, all the li all the Lilith altars in all the areas, and if you can run around and do all those, um, like I said, there's there's two benefits to that. One is because of the XP that you get now, and two, well, it's the three actually, it's two, the three reasons. The second reason is because you get all the um, dexterity, strength. Um, and all and all that good stuff and and and, and um, all the other perks that you get for um, activating the um, altars, but they also stay activated. So if you die, when you start your next character, you'll already have those strength numbers and those dexterity numbers and those um, uh, whatever benefits that the altars give you. So when you start your next character, you you are stronger for longer. Uh, stronger earlier should I say for longer because you've already got all those dexterity um, levels but if you look at my map now um, I haven't really done a whole lot so if you look at because I've already done the statues previously look see, they're, so they're all showing up I haven't done all of them but I've done most of them and I can't really be bothered to go around and check them all so what I did was I did um, as many of the of the missions that as I thought I needed to do and I do all of these side missions so if you look, you're allowed to do, you're, you're allowed um, up to 20 stored, and I'm going through them now. That's that's what I was doing before I had a little break, um, and it's it's really good XP. Uh, don't forget to make sure you keep your Alexa stocked up. Um, as far as gold and and, and 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 materials are concerned, what I do is when I'm full, I always fast travel back and trash them, or, or sell them, sell them and trash them. I alternate it. So I do one trash, one sell, one trash, one sell, one trash, one sell. So I'm, I'm, the gold is stocking up and the material is stocking up because if you've played this this game before, which I'm guessing you have, um, I don't, not a lot of people are going to come straight into um, hardcore. Um, so you've played this game before, you'll know that materials and gold is, is, is a must. You've got to get as much of it as you can. Um, but yeah, that's it. Just keep going, keep grinding. I mean, I think it's it's took me around... 
um, probably about six hours. Uh, six and a half hours, seven hours to get to where I am now. So it's level 34. So it can be done. You've just got to keep at it. You know what I mean? If, if you can spare yourself a full day, full 12 hours of doing it, you can get from 1 to 50 hardcore, no problems whatsoever. Um, continuously um, uh, maxing out your gear. Continuous... Continu- the, the better gear you pick up, get it attached, get get it get it equipped, and you, you'll be, you'll you'll fly through it. You'll be honestly, you'll realise how, how how strong you are. Um, you could also try and make sure you get these region progress as well, um, because they do have bonus XP, bonus gold, bonus skill points. So you do want to try and get these done, but they are they are a little bit locked. I I didn't realise till now that they are locked. Like you can only do so many. Um, and then you've got to be world tier three before it unlocks the, the the top ones. But worry about that later. Get to fifty. Fifty is your goal. Okay, just get to there. So you don't really have to worry about this one. But it is it is one to do. You know what I mean? Because what happens then is is as soon as you hit um, certain levels, if you die, these automatically unlock. So so you'll automatically get the gold. You'll automatically get the, the um, XP because they they. Um, what what how it works is so um they they when you do it on a normal character it unlocks for all normal characters when you do it on your hardcore character it unlocks for all hardcore characters you'll ever make you know what i mean or you know what i mean so if you die if you die 10 times those 10 will have all of these points that you've already unlocked um so yeah so keep going um and I'll do the next video when I hit uh, 50. And if any um, other new tips or tricks I think I can uh, share with you to help you on your journey, um, I'll add there. So don't forget to check out the, the maps that I'm, I've posted. Uh, pause the video and take screenshots if you need to. Um, but they're definitely well worthwhile. And, and, and keep those maps for later because they do work. They 100% work. Especially those steps, those 1, one to 5 and then 6 to 13. You, you fly through that little area, but you you like you're touching like level twenty just by doing those two little tiny areas, which is a good, you know what I mean, twenty five about good twenty percent through your your journey. You know what I mean? It's it's it, it's worth it to do them. And then, like I said, then um, your altars um, are a good one. But if you've already done those, then just do your side missions. Do you can do a few main missions because the reason why um, you, the main missions are not that not that bad early on. And it's because they they're normally split up into stages. So what you'll you you'll get is you might get like hundred, two hundred k XP three times in one mission. I mean, plus the XP for killing, plus the the gold, plus the materials, plus the selling of things. You know what I mean? And and, and all those things. Um, it, it just it, you just got to play it how how you feel comfortable. If you think you think you're comfortable comfortable enough to do open world bosses then you can do anything on the map. If not, then just stick to side missions. Stick to the altars. Um, stick to um, the cellars. The, the cellars can be a little bit tricky as well, though. I will. I, I have I have pushed my luck a couple of times in those, so be careful with those as well, because the higher you get, the harder they get. You know what I mean? You, you, you could be really stuck in some really sticky corners. So get, make sure you know your buttons. Make sure you know your controls. Make sure you know how to keep yourself alive and healed. Um... And, and yeah, just enjoy the game. Don't don't worry too much about it. That's another thing as well. Another tip is just relax. It's only a game. You know what I mean? It's not the end of the world if you die. I mean, just just I mean, dust yourself off and come back. This is this is probably my seven or eighth run through, um, because I I die for silly mistakes. My that's my problem. So just be careful. Watch what you're doing, and I'll see you at level fifty. Okay, guys, so that's it. That's level 1 to 50 done. Um, I did a mixture of things to get here um, from about 20 odd uh, upwards. I did a, um, a couple of side missions, um, a couple of dungeons. I did quite a lot of um, 
I did quite a lot of side missions to be honest. A few dungeons, a few of the story missions um, that I thought was pretty quick. I did a hell of a lot of the Lilith's uh, um, altars. Uh, but that's because if I die, uh, you, you keep that strength and dexterity and things like that. So it helps you get through the missions a lot quicker. Um, so yes, that was it really. You real this all you want to do really is just get to level fifty, and then you can open up these um, Tree of Whispers uh, missions, and then you just want to concentrate on those because that's where a lot of your XP and a lot of your um, good gear is going to come from um, early on. Uh, my advice is to just grind through now, stay at level, stay at level one um, until you get to level sixty. By the time you get to level sixty, you should be on your second um, uh, tree, a uh, paragon tree, um, and at that point, then that's when you, your nodes are, are more uh, catered towards damage and, and things like that. So your survivability goes up a whole lot. Um, but yeah. Um, so that was road to 1 to 50. Um, I'll do a follow-up video, a little short video of uh, 50 to 100. Enjoy.